Hi, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to do an updated version of inserting a YouTube video into PowerPoint. Now, this version of PowerPoint is the latest Office 2010 version, which is a little bit different when you go to launch the Developer tab than it was in Office 2007. So let's go through launching the Developer tab. And just to start off with, let me show you what the finished result is going to look like. Uh, let me play, or let me actually launch this slide to show you the YouTube video that we have put into our practice set for our Warrior Citrus PowerPoint. And I'll click to launch this particular slide now that it's complete, and then we'll go back and break it down. As you can see, our subtitle comes up, as well as the video itself that we have pulled out of YouTube. And notice the play button is right there, ready for us. So when we're ready, as we present, we just click on the play button, and it launches the YouTube video. And we'll pause it right there. And that just shows you what we hope to accomplish with this minute and a half video. Now, let me escape out of this and show you what we need to do to make this happen on your PowerPoint for Office 2010. Okay, now let me turn mine off so I can show you where I go to change all this. Um, obviously, the reverse of what I'm doing now so that you can have the same screenshot as myself. Now, when you look up to your toolbar and your different tabs, you will not have the Developer tab going on. You need to add the Developer tab, which is not normally seen up here until you add it. To an Office, to, an Office 2010, you have to go to the File tab now. Go down to Options. And in Options, you want to select the Customize Ribbon tool on the left side of the box and with customized ribbon you're presented with two different columns of choices so you want to go to the second column and you'll see the developer button is there and you need to check it so check it and that will add the developer tab to your screen now just say OK and you'll look up here and you'll then see the developer tab so that's job one, basically. Let me delete the current video that I have here so we can start from scratch. Now, I've already got my subtitle in, and I'm going to, to launch the Developer tab and draw the screen that will need to be here. Now, I'll go to Developer from the Developer tab. The only tool I, need to, to, I will need for this is in the Controls ribbon, and it's called more controls. Uh, you will, it's a very tiny tool. It's a hammer and a wrench. Uh, so you want to click on that. And this way we want to pick what format of video we're going to put in. And we're going to put in something from YouTube. So we're going to look for a shockwave. And let me go to the S's. And when I go to the S's, shockwave flash object is there. So click on shockwave flash object. Click on it and say OK. Now you will notice that your mouse has changed to a plus sign and you just want to draw the screen. So take your mouse and draw the screen however big or small you want it to be. Obviously in this instance I want to maximize the screen size. And at this point, nothing showing yet, but at this point I want to leave PowerPoint and I want to go out to the internet and seek out YouTube. So I'll click on my Internet Explorer button and I'll go up to my browser bar and type in YouTube control enter and in YouTube for this particular theme and there are so many professionally done videos on YouTube now and that's why it works for most topics click in your search bar and search on an appropriate topic that meets your needs I'm gonna just type citrus industry in here and see if I get any professionally done videos. So let me search. 
I'm sure there's probably more than one. Uh, one that caught my eye was the Bloomberg Television's uh, episode on the Florida citrus industry. Okay, I'm going to click on that link. It's not important that I play it, so let me pause it. It starts off quite loud. Uh, let me just pause the video. It's not that I need it to play right now. I just need to capture the URL. So I'll go up to the web address for this particular video, and I will click on the web address so that I can highlight the web address. My next step will be to right click on this same area and copy this web address. And when I copy the web address, I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint. That's all I really needed from YouTube. So I'll go back to my PowerPoint. Now, presented with this white rectangle, I'm going to right click, right click. And when the right click menu pops up, you want to select properties. And when you select properties, this screen may come up. Now, it may be very small when it first comes up on yours. In fact, let me just recreate this. It may look something just like that, very small, but it will say properties at the top. You can expand this, and you will need to expand it. So go to the bottom corner, get the double arrow, and just drag it where it's larger. And let me get my mouse on there right. There we go. Sometimes with Camtasia, it doesn't quite act always the same. Now, with um, this particular properties box up, we want to go to the movie. Movie's in the first column, but we want to be plant our cursor in the second column next to it. And with your cursor blinking in the second column next to movie, you want to right click and paste that URL in there. Now, we're not done yet. We do have to tweak the URL to make it play in PowerPoint. A couple things we got to do, and this works for most all videos, N not all, but most all videos found in YouTube. You notice it has watch question mark, watch question mark there. You want to plant your cursor in there at some point and do delete watch question mark. So whether you backspace or delete, just get watch question mark out of there. Now, the next thing you've got to do is take out the equal sign. So we're going to delete the equal sign. Now when you delete the equal sign, you must replace it with a slash, and it's a forward slash. We're down on your key that has also has your question mark on it. So put the slash back in there where you took the equals from. Now, at this point, there's no save in it. There's nothing else to do to this. All you have to do is exit out of this screen. When you exit out, nothing changes yet on your screen until you launch this particular slide. So one of two ways you can launch, of course, you can go up to slideshow, select from current slide to see this slide play out in full slide view form, or you can just go down to the little projector button at the very bottom of your screen and launch just this slide. So I will do so and let you see what happens. Now, it doesn't play without you. You have to actually press play when you're ready. And just make sure you have all your sound settings correct before you do launch it in front of an audience. And that's how to insert a YouTube video into the latest version of PowerPoint, which is PowerPoint 2010. Thank you for your time.